Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to do the installation of the ButterFS Assistant. So ButterFS Assistant is an application package where the ButterFS Assistant will be installed using this package and ButterFS Assistant is used to do the maintenance of the ButterFS file system that is installed on your uh, laptop or desktop. And there is further another application package called ButterFS Maintenance so that and the ButterFS Assistant will work together and allow you to do the maintenance of the ButterFS file system that is installed on your uh, laptop or a desktop. So you have to open your terminal and search for the ButterFS Assistant package in the AUR repositories. So in Pacman also ButterFS Assistant is there and in AUR also it is there. So AUR might have some uh, newer packages so you have to search. So in this video, we are going to install it from the EA repository. I have installed it from the EA, uh, not A, uh, in the UR repository using the EA. So you can see here, it is showing us the, there is one Git version. So Git version will be the latest one and the ButterFS Assistant uh, stable version is also there. So 1.8-2 is the stable version and Git 1.5.R33 is the latest version so you can choose between them so i will uh, now tell you how to choose between these two so just give it uh, the command a dash s butterfs assistant so the aur uh, repository table version will be the default or the explicit uh, choice for for the installation so system will always try to install the stable version of any application package first so the your repository you can see here it has chosen the butterfs assistant to be uh, stable version to be installed so uh, it will just go ahead and start installation of the stable version of the butterfs assistant the required uh, dependencies also will be downloaded you can see it here and i have chosen not to uh, not to keep the dependencies after the installation is complete. You can see it here. Packages to clean build only those packages which are not uh, already installed on the system will be clean build. So the installation will use uh, reuse the packages that are already available on the system as it is. and it will uninstall all the packages dependencies after the installation is complete so no uh, no uh, uh, not uh, no requirement to keep the dependency packages on the on our system because that will just hog the memory resources and the system will bloat and further there can be uh, dependency issues later on so here you can see the installation is going on building and clean building and installation of the ButterFS assistant is going on. So the stable version of ButterFS assistant is getting installed. Now after the ButterFS assistant is installed, you have to again search for the ButterFS maintenance package. So here also the Git uh, package as well as the stable package is there. So you have to select the uh, stable package. You can go with the Git, but when you uh, will give the uh, command a dash s ButterFS maintenance, the by default the ButterFS uh, maintenance stable version will be selected for installation by default. So this is the default action of the installer, same as in the ButterFS uh, assistant. So the stable version is always cho chosen over the git version or the unstable version. So you can see it here, the installation happens same way. You have, uh, you have chosen not to install already uh, available packages in the system. So the packages available in the system all will be reused and we will uninstall all the dependencies which are not required after the installation is complete. So that will keep the uh, system bloat or the system uh, image to a smaller size that's it so this is the way to install the butterfs assistant and the butterfs maintenance team and in the next video we will check out the uh, snapper and the snapper tools 
how to install them in Endeavor OS or you can use this same method will work in all Arch based Linux distros everywhere it is same uh, method so you can use in other Arch uh, based Linux distributions also so now we will complete this video and we will meet in the next video to check out some more information about uh, different Linux distributions bye bye